Hi there lovely people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm doing a few uh, reviews today. Uh, first, uh, two reviews I'm going to do on the women's side and then I'll move on to one sort of unisex fragrance then I'll do a list today after a long time. So hopefully you're doing good and since this is a ladies episode, um, those who actually watch and then find my reviews beneficial, thank you so much for all your kind words, remarks, you know, your comments. I see your comments uh, from time to time. And the thing is, I'm just glad that these fragrances are, you know, the reviews are helpful for some individuals, right? So as a uh, fragrance lover in general, I love to do fragrance reviews. These are my love, uh, you know, you can say I've been working since 2016 with fragrances. So first fragrance I'm going to show you today. Uh, I'll keep these reviews kind of shorter today, not very long, okay? So first fragrance we're going to look at is Paris Hilton and it's called Pink Rush. A uh, very huge box. I have covered quite a few Paris Hilton in several episodes i believe i haven't covered this okay so this is not my bottle but i'm gonna review it anyway thanks to my friend for lending me her bottle really nice glossy stuff looks like a barbie paris hilton is there you guys all know who she is a very famous celebrity she owns partly the hilton hotels her father i think uh, is owner of that hotel and then there are two sisters i think so basically i think she's married now right but i actually always liked her for some reason you know i just really notice i just tell you one thing just uh not this fragrance review but out of that that uh, she basically act like all kind of dumb and like you know it's like uh, you know like those but actually she's pretty intelligent and she said in one of the interviews my GF told me that she actually pretends to be kind of dumb blonde but she actually is very intelligent so I really <laughs> found that to be very interesting I always liked her I lo even love the movie House of Wax okay so that's the box I mean there's nothing much going on but it looks nice you know it's an budget perfume i think these fragrances are going for 30 35 dollars or less so here is the beautiful bottle this one actually has effects you know if you turn it around against the light you'll see the it has this kind of chameleon i don't know what you call that it sort of like changes color you know when you put it against the light you see it's very nice sort of a figure very art artistic i would say and it has some weight to it nice little bust up there very nice maybe a corset or something it says pink rush very silver on the neck and the bottle, the juice, uh, you can see through. I, I don't know what the juice color is, but the bottle is kind of pink. Bottom is your batch code and sticker. So these bottles, I always find them to be like, many people find them tacky. Definitely guys wouldn't want these bottles in their collection, right? So this is a very girly perfume. The cap, it clicks onto place, you can pick it up, no problem. Atomizer, I'll show you. Good atomizer, good distribution. You know, so for a budget, you know, this is fine. Okay, this is good. This is not a plastic bottle or anything. So when I smell it, it's very fruity. It's, it's kind of like a tropical, fresh, not very brand new smell for me. I mean, I did smell this kind of DNA before in many fragrances, Bombshell, Light, Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana, all these fresh, fruity. Some of them are from, let's say, Moschino or Escada. These are like fruity island paradise vibe. I don't know what's in there, maybe lychee, some fruits, pink florals, blush, sort of like coach floral blush. So this one has a fruity floral vibe and a lot of citrus is up top. So very light fragrance, um, not very thick. Some of the other ones like the Gold Rush or some of the black, darker ones, they have a little bit sweetness. This one, it's definitely for summer and spring. This is good for, I think, any age, but mostly teenagers, youngsters would love this as they're one of their casual everyday scent. They can spray like all day. They wouldn't feel guilty because this is not that expensive. So I really like the smell of it. It just gives us of like a mix of fruits, you know, like a fruit basket or a fruit salad or something like it you know like you make it with uh, jamaican you know uh, tropical paradise you're making some fruit salad there it sometimes smells like watermelon you know to me uh, sometimes i get like mango i don't know what's in there maybe there's car black currant or red currant i don't know something in there very fruity up to very hawaiian tropical sort of like if you open a fruit can uh, you know those sliced fruits in the syrup you can get this kind of smell but it's sweet citrusy light airy kind of fragrance kind of like a nice think of like chiffon i don't know what you call a it, silk it's a very silky smooth uh, transition it's nice light it has this nice sillage light sillage not very heavy i think this will be perfect for uh, vacation okay perfect fragrance and everyday use it um it reminds me of a little bit kim kardashian and some of the other celebrity bottles i think what's her name i forgot that anaconda <laughs> what's her name i forgot her name uh yeah this this has this kind of thing but it's okay, you know, I'm not a very big fan of these bottles, but these fragrances are really, really nice. I even like Britney Spears perfumes. So this fragrance, it, I, I think it's very Barbie-like, you know, it's like it's the color of the perfume. It has this sort of a pink sugar sort of vibe, okay? So if you like this kind of dress up, 
and even if you gift it to your uh, young daughters you know those who are in their you know schools they will really enjoy this they'll put it next to their toys and stuff they can use it you know it's a nice little perfume so this fragrance doesn't seem very formal doesn't seem like a very serious fragrance for me at least dry down goes a little bit green something green in it but that's about it not much going on about apart from the fruity floral aspect it's very light uh, ozonic fragrance so i really like it but it's not my most favorite from the line i have few others that i really like but i think this is okay for summers it's not a brand new or unique fragrance but for the bottle if you're a collector i think the bottle deserves some mark if you're a girl or a lady you'd like this kind of girly pinky color so overall this fragrance i'll give you like a 7 out of 10 longevity is like okay not bad but not very beast mode on me so pink crush by paris hilton i'll give it a 7 out of 10 thanks for watching guys uh, give it a try she has a lot of other fragrances i would like to try and review them in time time to move on to the next review take care